it was no 15 minutes ago and it's no now like every time i Look, I don't mind giving people rides or anything, but if you want to go and take a ride with me, you better damn well have some gas money, because my dude, my tank on E. Hey, pass me the money. I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. It's scary because I, she was the same age as me. Neighbors on Young Ridge Drive in Baldwin say they are feeling a mix of emotions from sadness to fear and even anger over the murder of 20 year old Ramaya Griffin inside this ground level apartment. It's tragic. It's, it's horrible. It's disgusting. In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, an ambitious young woman and mother had big dreams for her future. At only 20, Ramaya Griffin was already headed down the right path to succeed in life. She had her own family and wanted to have multiple businesses in the future and was willing to work hard to do just that. Everything seemed to be going good for the young mother, yet things in her life will take an awful turn in the early morning hours of February 9th, 2024. Ramaya Griffin, who went by Remy, was kind, loving, caring, and a great mother to her one-year-old daughter, Harmony Dior. Growing up, Ramaya was very active in dance and was one of the first members of the Damaged Dance Crew in Pittsburgh. According to the manager of the Damaged Dance Crew, when it was time to hit the floor, Ramaya didn't play. She would go on to cheer in high school, and when not in school, she also braided hair. She would take time to perfect her craft and call it Braided by Remy, and year after year, she became better and better before she even graduated high school. In January 2020, Ramaya met and started talking to her current boyfriend, and they loved spending time together and creating new memories. They both were into shoes and fashion and would frequently post about it on their social media accounts. The pair had started a YouTube channel in January 2021 with hopes of expanding and doing many videos, but they only ended up posting a few videos to their channel. Remy seemed to share a special bond with family, especially her older sister, and posted, Everything I am, my sister helped me be. That sisterly love was definitely evident down both of their timelines on social media. By the time Remy graduated from high school in 2022, she had her own car, her own place, and her first child was on the way. She also would continue to use her skills braiding hair, plus making custom colored wigs for clients. Remy was said to be a beautiful young lady inside and out. Nevertheless, someone decided to bring great harm upon the 20-year-old around the early morning hours of February 9th. What the police say happened is a complete nightmare that no family should have to experience. It was around 4.30 p.m. on February 9th when police were alerted to the Alden Apartments in the 5400 block of Young Ridge Drive. Upon entry into Remy's bottom floor unit, she was tragically found fatally shot multiple times. It was said no one was home with Remy but her daughter when the crime took place. As police spoke with neighbors and other units, this is when a timeline became clear when things happened. Most nearby neighbors said they did not hear anything or any gunshots on that fateful day. This would all come to a shock to authorities and neighbors alike because Remy was said to have been fatally shot 12 times. First responders say they found a woman shot to death inside her apartment. She was pronounced dead at the scene. The medical examiner has now identified her as 20-year-old Ramaya Griffin. Tonight, we're finding out more about a 20-year-old woman brutally inside her Baldwin apartment. Ramaya Griffin was a mother to a one-year-old daughter. We're told she was shot 12 times in her own home and in front of that child. It was not until police talked to even more neighbors that one said she heard cries from what sounded to be a young person for a long period of time and did have an eerie feeling at that time about it. Then allegedly someone reported gunshots around 3.30 a.m. 
This is when the record of the shots fired call at 3.30 was put together with the cries, and it was determined that Remy had been unalive for hours, about 13 to be exact, and her daughter was alone with her mother the whole 13 hours. She is only one, but could you imagine what her little mind was thinking? Thank God she was not harmed, but she could have easily lost her life not having someone to watch over her. She was our age, and it's it's horrible that like there's people in the world who can do stuff like that and just be fine. Said Alden Apartments on Young Ridge Drive in Baldwin say police didn't find her body until several hours after she died. Channel 11's Amy Hudak live from the Allegheny County Police Department where detectives are working this investigation now. Amy. David, here at Allegheny County Police Headquarters, no suspects have been named publicly, but investigators tell me their investigation is still ongoing. Tonight, we are learning some heartbreaking details about the murder of Ramiah Griffin and who else was in that apartment with her. It's scary because I, she was the same age as me. Neighbors on Young Ridge Drive in Baldwin say they are feeling a mix of emotions, from sadness to fear and even anger over the murder. 20 year old Ramiah Griffin inside this ground level apartment. It's tragic. It's it's horrible. It's disgusting. Several neighbors tell Channel 11 detectives on scene Friday night told them Griffin was shot 12 times around 3 a.m. Friday. It was the only time anyone reported to police that they heard a gun being fired. Most people said despite the close units, they heard nothing. Multiple neighbors said homicide detectives did not discover Griffin's body until 4.30 p.m adding that Griffin's one-year-old daughter was in the apartment with her mom's body for more than 13 hours. Just the baby being down there, I think that's just, I, that's just horrible, like to think, because so they had to have known that the baby was there. This neighbor adding something else she witnessed, evidence being collected and pictures taken at the crime scene near that ground level apartment. The screen was busted on the window. I mean, it's none of it's making sense. That's what I kept hearing them say is it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Nothing's making sense. This was a devastating tragedy and it's incomprehensible to understand how someone could do a mother and child like that. As of the recording of this video, the police did not have any suspects and said that it is an ongoing investigation. Also, it was not said who alerted the police about finding Remy. Another very sad and hurtful unalive and that should have never happened. This family did create a GoFundMe for Little Harmony Dior, and I will link it in the video, the comment section, and in the description below. My heartfelt condolences goes out to the family, out to her child, and all of her loved ones. Her life definitely mattered. She should still be here living her life, raising her daughter, and preparing to celebrate her 21st birthday this year. So please don't forget to comment your thoughts on this tragedy and your prayers for this family in this hurtful, difficult time. Also hit that like button and share to keep your people aware. And as always, remember to stay woke. Things change quickly.